good morning my name is Nick and today we're going to start off a little different um, I have a bunch of local ingredients here so I'm gonna cook us up some wonderful breakfast don't know exactly what I'm gonna make but uh, I kind of have a rough idea on what I'm gonna do hopefully it turns out well um, sun should be coming up in about 15 20 minutes so hopefully by the time I'm done we'll be able to go outside eat it and see the sun coming over all the skyscrapers and mountains and all that stuff. Today is a pretty awesome day. Um, we have a very huge activity to be doing and that is the Polynesian Culture Center. So we're going to be learning all about Hawaii, our my ancestors and all that stuff along with the amazing luau. Um, the, acti the whole entire thing is going to be taking about like four to six hours or something like that so it's a big chunk of the day um we're gonna be heading out pretty early actually in order to get there it's an hour away from us and then uh yeah we're spending the whole entire day up there and then we'll be coming in really late at night because you know an hour back so i'm looking forward to it it's gonna be really awesome i love luau's um especially like when you start upgrading through them you know you start from the bottom with like and the lowest tier seating all the way to VIP and stuff like it's always a wonderful experience and um, none of them are the same luau's are all different they always talk differently specifically uh, focus on different things so luau's are always fun I enjoy them um, and I think this is probably gonna be the best one because it's really really major so I hope you guys enjoy and uh, we'll see you guys outside with the wonderful food All right, we're gonna cheat a little bit. This is the Dole Plantation uh, pineapples. Looks pretty good. Let's try it. Oh, just a burst of flavor and juice and sugar in your mouth. Oh man, that's good. Mmm. <laughs> you want one, boo? Yes, I'll take one. <laughs> Let's see. Mmm. That is fresh. This is like the best pineapple I've ever had. And I swear, like Hawaii has the best pineapple like you'll ever find. It's mm. so good. It's really good. Some Portuguese mild sausage, thinly sliced, and we'll go and sprinkle some on top of the rum, like so. Oh, yeah, it's coming together now. All right, <clears throat> and then some scrambled eggs with some mushrooms. Sprinkle that on top as well, like so. I kind of wanted a brothy ramen, so that's why it's kind of watery. You can do it with Simon or ramen that's uh, drier if you want, but I like a little broth sometimes. Helps wash things down. Go and add that on top, like so. And then, should we turn off the burners we'll go with some green onion sprinkled on top mm -hmm. that's good a little bit more like so I kind of wish we had chopsticks to be honest so I like to eat my ramen or simon so you'll find places local shops um, instead of saying ramen it'll be simon and essentially it's the same exact thing it's just <clears throat> the way they cook it and how big the noodles are and stuff and then we'll finish off with some uh, Uzumaki steamed fish cake, so we'll just get a couple of slices of this 
to make it pop out a little bit. I am nowhere close to being a chef. I've never gone to culinary school or anything. I just like cooking once in a while. So let's go and do four slices each. Boom. 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 And, boom. and then we'll mine. We'll go with another four. One, two, three, and four. Easy peasy. And then the, the steam will warm these up. And there we have it. A breakfast for champions here in Hawaii. Look at it. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. That's what we're dealing with here. I'll see you guys outside. pretty close to the north side of the island almost the northern tip so that's why it's like luscious green out here it's this forest this jungle is a mixture of everything we're about to go to a bridge right now you guys can see how smooth the water is we were here a couple of days ago for the ranch um, ATV raptor thing so you can see a difference on how the waves and the water looks compared to what it was before should be a lot smoother right now than it was so it looks really really nice and calm as you guys can see and that is china mang's hat actually out there so i don't know if you can see it but you can actually go out there i guess you can like either take a boat or you can swim and you can actually go and hike the whole entire thing to its peak and go up there apparently it's really sketchy um, there's like really old ropes and stuff and the hike itself is pretty brutal so if you are not a hiking enthusiast like myself do not do it but if you enjoy a challenge you want to have fun by all means it's a really unique view and uh, yeah have fun yes and so this morning um, I went to what is this called Le Perk's coffee and like they have like ice cream and everything so I was in line around 30 minutes um, honestly I think that's my most favorite favorite coffee shop so far it's actually really good I mean honestly anywhere you're gonna go it's gonna be pricey in general but it wasn't too bad and I got like the carrot cake which was amazing the best carrot cake I've ever had 
And I got this coffee, which, you know, this is what it looks like. It was just a large, um, I think it was like 20 ounce or something like that. But as you can see, it's like I've been sipping away. But it's really, really good. And I honestly think the wait for it was actually worth it, honestly. It's about, what, 30 minutes or so. And then when after I was waiting, I got my coffee and everything, it just started downpouring rain. So I had, to, I had to literally run back to the hotel. And then literally, it literally stopped, you know, shortly after that. But the like I said, the, like he said, too, the rain it just comes and goes. But, I mean, it's so tropical. We're on an island. So, but honestly, I honestly love that place, that coffee place. And there is another coffee place that's right down next to it. But it's just, it will not open until night. So I thought I'd check out this place. But it was really good. So if you guys did, definitely should check out that place if you come to Honolulu. We'll see you guys soon. We just got done. It's a little mom and pop shop. Uh, I forgot the name, but we'll we'll take a picture of the sign and oh, show right you guys, here. or show you guys this. Um, they're really cool. Uh, they're not. They're kind of like locals. Um, they're Japanese. There's Koreans and stuff. They all have been living here for a long time though, and they're really friendly. Um, just right off the road, a nice shop. They have also food as well. But um, I can start uh, showing you guys what we got. Okay, so. We got I puffer fish. I think they're so adorable, and so I'm not gonna take it out of the bag, but it's a little puffer. And I found this little guy. He has his mouth open. So real puffer fish. Um, so and he's really cute. He has like a little string on it, so you can or put it as an ornament. Like I like unique stuff, so he's really cute. And I also got this hand painted bulb, Christmas bulb, and it's beautiful. It says Aloha Hawaii. Now, sadly, when we were in there, we couldn't uh, record, but we asked them. They said, uh, no, please don't. Um, that's why we're recording now and showing you guys exactly what we got. But, I mean, they have an abundance of things in there. So, it's a lot of cool ornaments, little shells and stuff like that. They have a lot of jewelry as well. A bunch of clothes. Um, they serve food here as well. Grilled chicken and all that. Okay. This one is taped up. But... So this is a silk globe type thing, you know, look at that, and sand in there. And just keep in mind, this is everything that's made here in Hawaii. Yes, we only do local. We don't do like, you know, these major companies and stuff. We do the local stuff here and support our local. Just put it on the side. So got Nick also got this little guy. <laughs> Looks pretty awesome. But this one is uh as you guys see God of Peace and Prosperity. Lono is the name. Looks pretty awesome. I've never had one before, but this one kind of stood out to me. I really wanted it. Put that on my desk for luck. We've got a couple more things to go, and then we're gonna get out of here. We got this one for one of our friends, so, or well, well Nick, it's a barber that cuts Nick's hair, but yeah, he wanted a little laid, so that's what it looks like. Okay, and then we also got, of course, some Hawaiian ties. And Made these were- here locally. Mm -hmm. And these really were two nice. for 28. And this one has like dolphins on it. Beautiful red. It's like a nice bright rosy red. Okay. Then we got the flowers. So yeah. That's all we got today. Really nice place. Very friendly people. Um she was saying, oh, they really like me, but uh, it's only because I really got to know them, talked to them a little bit, and then of course um when I went to leave, I just said Arigato Kuzamas means thank you in Japanese so yeah they really enjoyed that anyways uh, we're gonna keep on heading out and we will see you guys at the PCC we've told you but the, about the ranch it's not just an ATV tour you can literally do horseback riding you can do um there's different e bikes yeah I think they're saying there literally is everything out here so I mean honestly I think this is 
I think this was one of the highlights of our trip because I mean, the trip's not over yet. Yeah, right. <laughs> but so far, this was one of the highlights. I think this was something I've really enjoyed compared to the dome plantation, the coffee farm. You know, I think this was one of the best because it really was fun, you know, and everybody was so kind here. I mean, we hadn't encountered anybody that was rude or, you know, nasty. So. Right there. So we went to this fish shop right down the road and we got fish tacos black beans, rice, so we'll see how it is. Apparently it's number one fish tacos in uh, Oahu, so we'll see, hopefully. My mouth is watering already. Mm. Looks pretty good. Really light. Oh yeah, wow. That's really good. Mm. I don't know if it's the best because I haven't tasted anybody else, but it's pretty good. Mm, mm hmm That's delicious. Definitely give it a try. Tastes good. We made it! <laughs> Polynesian Culture Center, wow. You can see all the TTT, whatever the hell these things are called, statues. We're here on time. We need to do our test now. Hopefully it comes back negative and we'll be good to go. Wow, this place is massive. Free all day parking. <laughs> okay, so here we are ready at the Holmes and Conscious Center. As you can see, they have like different like shops and everything. I say insurance. So here it is. It looks like they have like a little truck thing here. Or no, it's food stand. Soda bomb is called. Look at that. This is really nice. Oh, it looks like they have towels up there. Those towels, aren't their towels are. They definitely need towels. Oh, they have a Pacific Theater. here so far but it's really noisy they're playing like weird music but uh yeah we just did the covid test so we're not vaccinated is what you're gonna have to do it's pretty relaxed though if you guys look um it's kind of like a private area i guess you could say pretty simple now we just have to wait for 15 minutes and then uh when it comes back negative our tour guide is gonna come up and we'll be able to actually start a whole entire thing. So looking forward to it. Check the area out for now. Um, they said if you're outside, you don't need to wear a mask, which is really good. So we only have to wear a mask when you're actually inside enclosures, inside buildings and stuff like that. So we're doing well. I hope we pass.
everything's private. Everything is private, yes. All by herself. <laughs> featured in here. Um, there's Fiji, Samoa, Tonga, Hawaii, uh, Tahiti, and I'm not forgetting Aotearoa, New Zealand. Okay, so we'll get a chance to go to all six of them. We'll also get to go on a canoe tour, um, which is going to be down here. We're going to start off with that so you can see the whole center, kind of see what's going to happen throughout the day. Yeah? yeah. Sound good? Let's do it. Yeah. Sweet. <laughs> all right. So like you said, I am Jamie. I'm from Guam. I'm a student at BYU Hawaii and I'm studying hospitality and tourism management. Okay. Yeah, that's what you're gonna do. And he's making it very loud on purpose. Alright, but yes, you're gonna do that eventually. Um, so just so you know a little bit more about the PCC, not only are we here to teach the culture, but we're also here to um, thank you for all that you do. Because of the money you spend here, you're pretty much paying for students' tuition. So students from the Pacific and Asian area, they come to work here, they go to school at BYU, and in return, PCC pays for their uh, tuition with your money that okay. you spend. Make sense? Yeah. Yeah. And in return, we all go back to our own countries, and we all go and help uh, contribute to the development of our country. So, big cycle, yeah? Yeah. So, thank you for coming. Um, with that, thank you. I did give you a kukui nut lei. And the kukui nut lei is um, the kukui nut is the national tree of Hawaii. Yeah. And the kukui nut lei is also known as a candle nut wood, which could burn about eight minutes. But don't try to burn these. These are just made in China nuts. Okay? <laughs> so they're not gonna last eight minutes. They're probably just gonna burn and pass it. Okay. So in the Pacific, obviously the main form of transportation was through the ocean, but they didn't really have maps or GPS back in the day. And I'm gonna ask you this question, Nick, right? Yes. Nick? Cause you are from the big island. Yeah. You must have had some experience. Nope. No? no. Huh. I moved when I was like three and a half. Three and a half, okay. By plane? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, they made me swim. Yeah, they made you <laughs> swim a little bit and then took you on a plane. Okay, well, if you ever watch Moana, you will see a little bit of everything. But the way of na um, navigation that they had was wayfinding. And that was basically through the stars, the currents, the clouds, everything like that, all around them. They mastered it and they remembered parts of the ocean 
to know how where they were going and stuff like that. Um, but today, easier, you know, GPS, map. <laughs> so for example, like these guys, they already know the route, so they don't really need to worry. You don't need to worry either. But yeah, so you're gonna go on this canoe, more of a tour, relaxing one. But there's three other canoes in the center. There's a long voyaging canoe, a short voyage, and a war canoe. So you'll see a little bit of, in, uh, of all of them, but we'll go through them as we pass by them as well, yeah? Okay. Sounds great. You wanna walk the road? Yeah. Try to You two, you're gonna take our front row here. <clears throat> Other, right? Okay. Aloha. And aloha. Hopefully it actually works.
Look at this. So what is that? Local white fish spicy pokey. Spicy. Keep that in mind, small that. Ahi tuna. So it's kind of like a marinated pokey. Very good. Very delicious. And if you aren't sure what pokey is, it is tuna. Raw fish. Raw fish. Tofu pokey. And more poi. I have seven daughters and one son. And grandpa's gonna follow us. Come on up. Come on up, grandpa. Oh. You and I are gonna take a picture on stage before all the dancing starts. Oh, it's scary. Because at 15, hopefully you still remember coming here when you were 11. I'm right there in the center. Uh, you and I are gonna pose this way. Have you seen this here in Hawaii? It's, we call it the shaka, or they might say hang loose. And this actually started in our town of Bahia. I'll tell you right now. Ice cream. Ice cream is always good. So we'll do coconut. You just pour it like that? Yes, and the, uh, the shaved ice here is actually really smooth. It's not chunky like a lot of shaved ice. You do whatever flavor you I mean, do pina pineapple. And pick out what you want. Blue to white. Eat this thing, enjoy this. But it's really beautiful here during the night, like it's all lit up. And like the thing is about this culture center, like they literally have everything, all stores, food, vendors, and everything. So yeah, and we actually got some goodies at this clothing store, which is really nice. So yeah, we're gonna have this a little bit and then. So here it is. Here's the ice cream. It's all in there. This is like the best ever, and it's really good. Like I'm telling you, shaved ice from Hawaii is like life changing. It's right. Mm -mm. <laughs> it's like, you can pick any flavor you want. So if you just want like, basically just vanilla, just try vanilla, I mean you can mix it. So, I mean if you're picky, there is picky eaters out there, so you can literally make your own and just create it. So yeah, I really love this thing. I give it 10 out of 10 always. 